She is definitely going to make Lawrence jealous. Hi guys, hope you all are having a nice time. I'm back with Spice and Wolf episode 14 review so let's go. At first we see that as Lawrence and Hollow head to their next destination, Lawrence gives Hollow three feathers as a thank you gift and shares details about Kumerson, the next town they are heading to. Hollow is not satisfied with the gift. Lawrence tells her about Kumerson's Lodger Festival, which offers various kinds of food, and assures her that he has set aside money for her snacks and plans to rent a reasonably priced place there. Hollow expresses concern about Lawrence's funds, not wanting her desire for snacks to be used against her. She teases Lawrence about sharing a bed, causing Lawrence to stop his horse. So it looks like I was wrong about Nora, and she didn't tag along, which is kinda disappointing, because we didn't get to know much about her character. Also this part was pretty cute and wholesome. We see Lawrence tell Hollow she's not his type. They continue jokingly flirting and then resume their journey. Along the way, Hollow spots some merchants with fish and suggests they buy some. Lawrence asks one of the merchants for fish, but the merchant says his stock is already reserved. He suggests Lawrence negotiate with a fisherman instead. Lawrence explains that he wants the fish to make a meal for himself and Hollow, not for selling. The merchant understands and asks about Lawrence's plans. Lawrence says they want to visit Kimerson for various reasons and asks for information about the town's inns, festivals, and other attractions. The merchant provides details and asks if Lawrence is part of a merchant association. Lawrence replies that he belongs to the Kumerson Trading Branch of the Rowan Merchant Association. The merchant says he belongs to the same association. My first impression of the kid is that he seems to be a clever merchant, but at the same time a bit naive. Also if we go by the new opening song, the kid will most likely play a very important role in this arc. Moving on we see that the merchant introduces himself as Amadi, and Lawrence introduces himself and Hollow. Amadi notices Hollow's feathers, and Lawrence lies, saying Hollow is a traveling nun. Understanding the trials of traveling nuns, Amadi offers to help Lawrence secure a room in Kumerson. Initially, Lawrence declines, but after Amadi's kind words, he accepts the offer. Eventually, they arrive at Kumerson's Inn. In their room, Lawrence shows Hollow a letter he received at the trading house, warning about the current armor prices. They then greet Amadi at the inn's entrance, thanking him for securing their lodging. Later, while dining, Lawrence warns Hollow not to drink too much, but she insists she can handle it. Later, Hollow gets a hangover and lies in bed. It looks like Amadi likes Hollow, and I'm pretty sure at some point Hollow will use this to make Lawrence jealous. Also I wonder who sent Lawrence the warning, and why was the letter sent here instead? Then we see Lawrence tell Hollow to stay in bed and goes for a stroll in Kimerson, where he notices Mark speaking with someone. Lawrence approaches Mark and asks him to buy some nails. Mark agrees to purchase them for 14 and two-thirds Lumion coins. He then instructs his apprentice Lance to move Lawrence's goods to his cart for later sale. Lawrence mentions his plan to leave Kimerson before winter, but Mark insists he meet his child, Adele, and attend the festivals before departing. Lawrence is surprised by Mark's experiences, and Mark admits he misses being a traveling merchant. Some people might not enjoy this part, but I think it was a really good way to introduce some new characters and show us more of Lawrence's trading skills. Also I think something might happen during the festival. At the end we see Mark say it's great to settle down and do business while having a child and wife to care for. Lawrence returns to the inn and finds Hollow no longer experiencing a hangover. He warns her that if she continues drinking heavily, she'll get another hangover. They discuss Hollow's homeland and the nearby town of Niohira. Lawrence asks if Hollow can visit her homeland alone once they reach Niohira, and she says she can. Recalling Hollow's earlier remarks about loneliness, Lawrence offers to wait in Niohira for two days while she visits. After rambling a bit, Hollow heads to sleep. I heard this is supposed to be a very realistic romance story, but I'm having my doubts, given how dense Lawrence is. I mean he should have considered Hollow's feelings before asking such a thing. 
Also Hollow being hurt isn't wrong, because she told Lawrence she feels lonely. Overall, this was a relaxing start of a new arc, but I wonder what will be the plot point. Anyways thanks for watching everyone. If you like my video then check out some of my other videos. Also don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel or leave a comment if you want to say something, you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram or check out my Facebook page, links are given in the description until then see ya.